Well, and health care is just one of the many topics at the center of attention on Capitol Hill today. Dr. Lee Han is an associate professor of political science at Rice State University and he joins us this morning. Thanks for uh, coming in this morning. Thanks for having me. So we'll start on health care since that's what we were just talking about. Sure. What is the likelihood, do you think, that we will see some movement on this today or is there the possibility of this delay? Sure. So it's, it's really been moving all week in terms of kind of the count of whether or not the Republicans have the vote to pass. Uh, so we may see a very dramatic uh, afternoon and in, into the night as far as uh, how this bill goes to the floor and whether or not they have the votes. So the number to look for is 218. That's mm -hmm. what they need to, to pass the bill. And people think there's about 22 or they, they if 22 Republicans say right. no, then the, then the bill dies. And people think there's about 25 that have reservations with this bill. How much do you think the president needs a win right now with everything that's been going on and been talked about? Obviously, investigation. We'll get, we'll get to that in just a moment, but the FBI investigation about Russian ties, uh, you've got so many other things going on. How much does he need this? Sure, yes. I think that, again, Trump is pressuring. He's using all of his power as a president as uh, with the bully pulpit to, to say that this is what we've promised for seven years and we're going to move this through. Uh, but uh, these, these legislators, they need both People who voted for Trump on their side in two years in these midterms, and they also need uh, moderate Republicans and some people who feel like they may lose their coverage if the bill doesn't uh, meet, meet standards of the, the current Affordable Fair, uh, Care Act. Uh, the hearings for the Supreme Court nominee, Neil Gorsuch, another big topic uh, yes. on Capitol Hill this week, too. We're now entering day four of that. Mm -hmm. How do you think he has fared so far this week, and uh, what is the likelihood of him going through? Sure. So I think this is Trump's big win so far. If you mm -hmm. look at uh, how he both rolled out the, his selection of mm -hmm. Neil Gorsuch and then how these hearings have gone, I think Republicans are, are thrilled with this pick. Um, but it's it's clouded in all the other you know kind of scandals and issues and debates that we're having about health care and, and other things right now. Uh, you know, I think he's he's going to get through. The the Democrats could filibuster and and try to make the Republicans blink. They're certainly uh, you know frustrated that they never got a, a fair hearing of uh, Merrick Garland. Mm. But more than likely, this is a hold for the Republicans. This is uh, replacing Scalia with Gorsuch. And so I think they're going to let this go in order to fight other fights. And Trump has said in the past, uh, if that filibuster were to happen to he would recommend going nuclear and going the nuclear option. Yes. Uh, let's quickly uh, also touch on just the, the latest on the Russia uh, ties uh, to the Trump administration, the FBI investigation. Obviously, Paul Manafort's been at the center of attention uh, over the last couple of days, too. How damning is this report to the Trump administration? Sure. So, again, there's a lot of smoke around this issue, and we don't know yet if we, if we totally have the fire, if we have a kind of a tractable right. case. Uh, and, and we no, that's not saying that it's definitely there or not. Uh, to me, when I watch these these big questions about Trump's legitimacy and everything else, I watch the Republicans in leadership. And if they start to change their tune on, on President Trump, if they start to use kind of the uh, big words about accountability, then, yeah. then I start to really, really pay attention. But but certainly uh, what, what was said in front of the House Intel Committee, I think, was, was pretty surprising and certainly a setback for the administration. All right, Dr. Lee Hanna, Wright State University, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank you.